Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress blog in less than 3 minutes. This is going to be a self-hosted blog. What this means is that you're installing WordPress on your own server. This is a, a server that you pay for. Um, I'm using DreamHost for HipHopMakers.com um, because I can install multiple blogs on there. So I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress blog on a server and how easy it is. I use DreamHost, um, but most uh, hosts act in a very similar way. They all offer um, WordPress as an easy installation. Um, so I've already logged into my host, which is DreamHost. I've been using them for about two years and they do a great job. On the sidebar, I'm going to click uh, One Click Installs, and a lot of services have this same type of feature. You can see over here, I have a WordPress icon. I'm going to click that. It opens up in an overlay. I'm going to click the custom installation button. And then in the drop down menu, I'm going to select the domain name I want to use. I've set up a test site for our demo purposes. And I have a location I want to go to. I'm going to paste that uh, location in there. For select database, I'm going to leave it at the default, which says automatically create database. Deluxe install, I'm going to turn that off because uh, by default it will install a lot of WordPress things that I don't plan on using, so I'll just turn that off. And then I'm going to click the install it for me now button. Then you get the success message. WordPress will be installed at the location I picked within 10 minutes. It usually doesn't take 10 minutes, but um, sometimes it does. So I click the link. The WordPress installed on the server in less than two minutes. I'm going to enter in a site title. Username, you can customize it to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at admin. You enter in a password. Enter in your email address. Privacy allow search engines to index the site. Uh, if you want to be found by search engines, leave a check. Click install WordPress. Success, WordPress has been installed. Pretty simple. I'm going to click login. Admin. Um, you may have to type this in admin and you enter in your password. I'm going to click login. So I'm now logged into WordPress. I'm going to go to visit site and open it up in a new tab. And you can see WordPress is now installed and um, this is the default theme. So now you can start customizing it. 